Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about our future and upcoming updates. As we all know, everyone's really excited about the multiplayer updates. So I'm going to start off with it. Yesterday, the developers made and asked the dev team. They answered, there was a question, what are you working on right now? What's the main goal? And they said, multiplayer, of course, the majority of the team is focused on releasing it as soon as possible. I think the multiplayer will be out in 2.0.0, but there's a lot of more content to upload so we won't really expect much from multiplayer there has to be more armor more bosses they need to release the most of the map first to get us multiplayer because without the map there's nothing really much to do so nothing really much about multiplayer now number two is fishing kefir made a lot of pictures and showed us previously before the 1.6 update and they actually are going to release it pretty soon i guess because they prepared a map it's already on the map but it's not enterable yet but they will actually make it and add soon number three is silvers this picture is old but this picture shows a new location of course underground we'll have more features maybe more stuff but there's nothing really much either here to show there's the flamethrower here which has been showed already a week ago by kefir also this would contain maybe more content just to, for you to load and get some stuff some newer stuff and yeah number four the flamethrower the flamethrower is pretty exciting and i have to tell my idea the most important thing for the flamethrower is going to burn off those necrotic things you can actually see in kefir's artwork Here's a few examples of those pictures. So you know you have to burn something just to pass or something to unlock the entrance, you know, to get rid of that nasty virus. Number five, the necrotic hybrid. Devs have told us that it's going to be a zombie in the bunker, that it's going to emit slime and the player is gonna get additional damage, of course, and you would need to avoid him. His left hand, as you can see, is big, but compared to the right hand, it's small. I don't know if this zombie is going to be big, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be big. Maybe he's going to be in a certain room where the infected box is and you have to kill him just to get that infected box and then you can actually get that box number six the acid bath as you probably know the acid bath the developers showed it in the telegram in their twitter as i've talked before the necrotic hybrid the room of having the infected box i think that's how it's going to be it's how it's planned because look at the box it's, it looks the same the same nasty stuff that the necrotic hybrid had so basically you just you need to finish your acid bath you power it with gasoline i even made my trailer and showed the acid bath number seven cities nothing really much to explain here but the developers are giving us houses more stuff to explore and a huge bigger area that will have more loot more zombies this is of course when the multiple release or maybe when we get the factions of raiders and something else like that Number 8. Blind Zombies I personally me think the Blind Zombie is going to be an overseer in the Bunker Alpha or any other locations, maybe in Bunker Charlie, I'm going to get to that later but Blind Zombie as you can see has no eyes, just good at hearing and going to have a disadvantage of seeing you so you can actually walk in front of him, crouching but not running or you know speeding coming at him because he will mostly hear you now there's one and two types of those zombies there was even more four of them they actually even showed and made a dance party video and the blind zombie was included in the bag sitting alone doing nothing just thinking what is going on so it means there's a blind zombie of this model is actually ready and is going to be soon implemented maybe in the 1.7 update or sooner or later not sure number nine the oil pump everyone knows it's pretty simple you go there you get some gasoline maybe an electric generator you you wait it out or maybe it's just automatic it just farms you crude oil you just collect it and then use an oil refinery in the city and then you just refine your oil into the gasoline or stuff like that but yeah of course this is going to be a clan update so you can get some free gasoline and have to fight for other players Number 10, Raiders. Now, 1.5.4 updates, before that, they mentioned that they're gonna be adding Raiders and that they are gonna do some factions and reputation system. And this was answered in the yesterday's Dev Asset team. They said that they want to keep 
or they want to be based on your standing with each faction. So there's going to be factions and if you have good reputation on a faction, the other faction is going to be bad and they're going to, will be your enemies. So based on that, but raiders are basically going to be NPCs, which you have to help or kill them. Same as events, but a little bit different, I think. They're gonna raid your bases, or you're gonna raid their bases. And lastly, number 10, bears. Why would they add bears? Bears are gonna be a new leather. Bears, that would mean something with armor, or something new coming up. There should be new weapons and armor. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed that you watched my videos, guys. And see you tomorrow in the next video.